All right, this is the unboxing of my new Moby trimmer. Um, it, it is really simple. I mean, if all you want is a really simple bear trimmer, you're probably gonna love it. I don't like the fact already that it just comes with the USB charger. Um, it's got a really simple guide. It doesn't say how long it takes to charge or how long it lasts. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory with the lights. Um, it looks like it does have some type of a charge, so um, I'm going to put it to use. I do like the fact that it has an adjustable trimmer. I don't know if you can see that or not. If I can zoom. Anyways, it says 1, 3, 5, and 7. You can move it up and down or take it completely off for the bare blades. And, uh, I'll get right to the... Uh, I'm just going to trim my head. I don't have a bear just to show you how good it works. All right, I'm just going to show you the adjustment real quick. Um, you just have to push it like one click at a time to get it to go up and then it comes all the way off. And then it was a little tricky to figure out how it goes back on, but you just press the top, yada yada. Anyways, I'm going to show you how it works real quick. I'm not too sure with the numbers on these things. They're always a bit off compared to my dog clippers that I usually use, so I'm going to start with the highest one and keep going down. That one is, oh, just a second, I'm going to have to read the instructions real quick. Okay, that's why I had to uh, read the instructions again real quick. Uh, apparently there's some type of face scrubber down here. Um, I'm never going to use that, but apparently you turn it on once for the razor, then you turn it on again for the face scrubber. It sends the vibration down here, I guess, to scrub your face, yada yada. Alright, I'm going to keep trimming. The uh, first setting was too low. It seems like you do have to turn it off to adjust it down. It's definitely a lot harder to get it to go down than up, so I'm going to have to start over. Five. Definitely have to turn it off. Five is too long, so go down to three. Wow. Alright. Mm. It does look like I am going to be able to go all the way down to a 1 with this, so I'm going all the way down to the lowest setting. See how it does.
Okay, I shaved half my head. I'm just gonna go grab a mirror real quick and let you know how it did. Obviously, it's a skinny razor, so I'll be sticking with my dog clippers, but really didn't do too bad. I missed a, a patch up here. You might be able to see it on the camera. Let me just go over that real quick. And my head's not exactly shaped the best, but anyways, uh, it's definitely a good trimmer. I passed the test. Um, I wasn't pulling up my hair at all. Um, it is a beard trimmer, but uh, if you just want a really simple trimmer to trim your beard, it was not pulling up my hair at all. Um, feels like it's got decent power. Um, definitely gets the job done for the price. I don't remember how much it was. Didn't cost very much. <clears throat> but it's definitely a good buy if you want specifically a beard trimmer. Obviously, you can take this all the way off to edge, but it is what it is. It's definitely worth it. All right, I decided to go ahead and show you the finished product. Um, it did do really good. Uh, geez, I missed a little patch right there. It's just hard to shave my head because it's so skinny, but... I mean, you really can't beat it as far as a all-in-one beard trimmer or a, a simple beard trimmer. You can see there, uh, it's a little patchy, but you can always go back and get the patches. Uh, main thing I really liked about it is it really did not pull up my hairs at all.